Life at the top is pretty sweet. Private jets that fly you to any corner of the world at a moment's notice. A remote island to really get away from it all. The best penthouse in New York to lord over the city as you drink your champagne. It's all unbeatable. For Jeff Bezos especially, some of his recent indulgences have included a $65 million jet, an $80 million penthouse in New York, and even the construction of a $42 million mechanical clock that will tick for 10,000 years. But it's not all luxury all the time. Bezos is responsible for tens of thousands of his employees and running Amazon alongside his several other ventures can get pretty hectic. And what better way to escape the routine day-in, day-out shackles of land than to run away to sea in your $400 million yacht? Well, at least that's what the rumor mill turned out a few years ago. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Spotted bobbing along the coast of Turkey was the Flying Fox, which is allegedly Jeff Bezos' private mega yacht. Whether you're into boating or not, there's no denying this magnificent bit of architecture. It's 136 meters long, making it the 14th largest yacht in the world. It was built by shipping company Lurson in 2019. The luxury boat comes with two helipads because one is never enough, a 40-foot swimming pool, a two-deck spa that includes health and wellness facilities, and a sprawling cinema where you could watch Amazon Prime Originals. 36 guest cabins, including 11 VIP cabins across its four decks. Complete this floating marvel. Oh no, wait a minute. It also runs with a crew of 54 people, so every one of your guests is well taken care of. The luxurious contemporary interior design is the work of Mark Berriman, a super yacht interior designer. The living space is large, but manages to look cozy thanks to the use of wood and warm tones with pops of blue to provide a visual break. His work is best enjoyed in this gorgeous bar area, which features a wood fireplace and a huge mahogany dining table that looks out at the ocean. But if you're raring to do something while you're on board and not just stare at the view, there's a world of convenience and luxuries right here in the boat. The Flying Fox features a 13,000 square foot spa spanning two decks. Its sea lobby with heated limestone floors and oak paneling is another showstopper by Mark Barriman, and it makes for a beautiful welcome area to set the tone for the rest of the spa. The Place Murano Spa offers a Turkish hammam, a steam sauna, and of course a fully equipped gym. Plaz Murano also has massage rooms where you can enjoy the same treatment you'd get in a five-star resort on land. And to get ready for those fancy five-star dinners out on the deck, you need to look your best. For that, the yacht also has a beauty salon. The theater in the yacht can seat 14 guests and comes with an Atmos sound system and a media system with over 3,000 films, and there's even a virtual reality system. The guest cabins all have ensuite bathrooms and walk-in closets, but they're nowhere near the size of the master suite on the top deck, obviously. The 328 square foot master suite spans the entire top deck and includes a dedicated salon, gas fire pit, and a private jacuzzi. You can enjoy the graceful architecture of the boat while lounging in the massive swimming pool or in the on-deck jacuzzi while the staff whips up some barbecue or a pizza in the wood oven. In fact, the open-air gallery features five different types of ovens, plus two teppanyaki grills. The alfresco dining area seats 24 guests, and you have five chefs catering for multiple diets and cuisines, all prepared fresh and in full view. So you can kick back and relax on the lounge chairs with a cocktail and gourmet snacks as you watch the helicopters fly in and drop off yet another uber-wealthy guest. It's the only way to truly appreciate the curvy and extraordinary interior design, complemented perfectly by her dove gray hull. A quick first first glance reveals the six decks with the 40-foot pool on the aft deck. It's one of the largest transverse pools on any yacht, and it has a retractable wall that divides the water in two, so you have a choice between fresh water or salt water, and temperatures ranging from steaming to icy. The two helipads offer a degree of flexibility. There's a 60-foot spot on the stern, which is most likely where the owner of the yacht would leave his H-175 Airbus helicopter. And there's a second 49-foot helipad on the bow. The large sun deck also converts into a dance floor by night, offering live music, private dining, and fireworks in case you're celebrating. The exterior is the genius of award-winning architect Espen Urino. The curves mimic the gentle waves of the sea. It's seamless, but the yacht still retains a strong personality. If you're feeling a little restless and want to get out there, the Flying Fox also comes with a small fleet of nine tenders, a professional dive center complete with experienced diving instructors, and a range of recreational water toys. These include jet skis, kayaks, four Vespa GTS Super 300, hundreds and paddle boards, everything you need to go on and explore new islands. The dive center includes a three-person decompression chamber and the option to dive to depths of up to 
328 feet. But if you want to push your limits, there are experienced divers to help you do that in the safest way possible. If you're going to be that active and remain on your A-game throughout, you're going to need something that helps you bounce back from muscle aches quickly. While you could always call a masseuse to fix you up, the yacht has a better option available. The Flying Fox is also the first yacht to ever have a cryo sauna installed. It has an antechamber set at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, followed by the main chamber set at minus 116 degrees Fahrenheit. Cryotherapy is typically favored by athletes for muscle regeneration, but it comes in handy for all the activities you'll get into when you're on board. Kite surfing, diving, kayaking, it all takes a toll on the body, and you don't want to spend a second of your holiday lying in recovery. This feature proves how much attention to detail and lifestyle the designers have put into making the yacht. They have made an effort to anticipate any and all requirements you might have to give you a comfortable and luxurious holiday. All this, of course, needs a good crew. Supporting this lifestyle is the 54 onboard crew. All the sports and gym instructors are either former Olympians or ex-military. The helicopter is serviced by a dedicated pilot and engineer, and the onboard hospital, which is connected to the mainland hospital 24-7, also has a permanent medic. The crew to guest ratio is 2 to 1, so every guest is pampered beyond their wildest imaginations. Despite its incredible size, this boat is no slouch. The mega yacht is capable of a top speed of 20 knots, and it cruises at 15 knots. This incredible vessel took three years to design. The designers wanted to make sure they included everything most other yachts lack. It's about finding the right balance between form and function, where form didn't hinder function, but function didn't force any luxuries to be stripped away. The result was the Flying Fox, which certainly doesn't disappoint on any front. Now, if you look up who the owner of the Flying Fox is on Google, the results all point to Jeff Bezos, but they also state it's only a rumor. So who commissioned this incredible yacht? Well, there are many speculations. Some rumors say it might be owned by Dmitry Vladimirovich Kamenschik, a Russian businessman and chairman of the Moscow Domododovo Airport. He has a net worth of $2.5 billion, which is nowhere close to Bezos, but he could certainly buy a $400 million yacht and not feel the prick of shelling out that kind of money. That is, if he did. The good news is, whether it was Jeff Bezos or Dmitry Kamenschik or anybody else, it's certain that neither of them is using it on a regular basis, so you can actually rent out this gorgeous boat. The not-so-good news for some of you is that it will take $4 million a week to hire this yacht. The Flying Fox is currently based in the Indian Ocean, but it plans to explore Oceania and French Polynesia. The yacht really could set its anchor in the remotest areas thanks to the two helipads on board, so if you're raring to explore new lands and brave new worlds in style, you might want to start saving up now. Or you can wait until you're invited on board by the owner. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and check out other videos all about luxury over on the King Luxury channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.